Today I got back my first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another epic grading video. Today we are getting back 8 of the 16 cards I sent to PSA from that awesome collection I bought the other day. Go check that video out if you missed it. There were some awesome cards in there. We didn't grade everything, but so far we've graded 16 cards. And in this sub, you're going to see 8 of them. They're pretty amazing, including that Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm pretty excited for that. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these 3 cards. They're in what I call nostalgic condition. They're also nostalgic cards. So if you're interested in those, make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know in the comments. Your favorite card from this submission, there's a lot of good options. So I went ahead and opened the big box that these were in. Now let's open the smaller box, eight cards inside. This order actually did have two up charges in it. What an up charge is, is they grade the card and they realize the value is higher than the max amount of the submission level you're in. So in regular, the max is like a thousand bucks. So we have two cards that went over that it seems. But before we actually get into this, let's check out the pre-grade. All right, let's check out these cards. We have a few more than usual. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, which I know you guys like these anyway, so that should be good. We have a Solemn Judgment First Edition. This is from the collection that we bought. I don't know how long it's been since then, whenever we get the cards back. So maybe like a few weeks since I bought that collection. But the back is pretty nice. It does have a couple of little, not even scratches. It's like they're little, I don't even know what to call that, but little uh, spots where you can tell it's a different coloring and stuff. The front looks really, really good on this thing. This Centering is pretty good. Corners appear to be pretty good. Centering is not completely perfect, but it's pretty good. So let's check the corners on the back. Very nice card. Centering on the back is not great, but I think that this card is really nice. I think it has the potential to get the 10. I could see it getting a 9, but I'm feeling pretty good today. I feel like this could get, well, maybe the centering is a little bit more off than I thought. Let's go with 9 on the prediction. Next, we have another Metal Raiders card. Today is all LOB and Metal Raiders, so it's going to be some pretty good stuff. We have, okay, a little bit of a nick up here, if you guys can see that. Like, not even really a nick. It's like a slight lifting of the card on the edge, so maybe the edges would go down if we, there were, you know, subgrades. Back looks pretty nice. The surfaces are really good on these Metal Raiders cards. Corners on the back look really good. Centering looks pretty good on the back. Centering on the front is pretty good. Corner looks good. Corner looks good. Corner on the right looks good. Corner on the left looks good. Yeah, this card looks pretty nice overall. I think it could also get the 10 because that is pretty small and insignificant. You can barely even see it unless you like really get it in the light. You can barely see it. But I think that this has a chance at a 10. I'm going to go with a 9 though because you, you know, it's just really hard to get 10s unless they're completely perfect. Let's see if we can do it though. Third card, yet another Metal Raiders card. Metal Raiders is going to be pretty awesome. We've got Summon Skull, the man himself. Very nice, very clean. Wow, the surface looks good. Centering looks good. Corners beautiful uh okay centering top to bottom might be slightly off it's still not too bad that's usually not too big of a factor the back surface i should say not centering a little bit of a scratch there in the middle i think but not too much we got the corners boom boom uh maybe we got some there down there okay a little whitening on that one yeah there's definitely whitening on that one and then corners all right yeah so there's some scuffing on the back you could see there okay so but combined with that corner the scuffing i think it's between eight and a nine to be honest i could see the nine man that corner was worse than i thought it was it's really not that bad though yeah i'm gonna go with it's a weaker nine but i'm gonna go with a nine again i think we can get a nine i would not be surprised though if we got an eight Card number four, we have the Black Skull Dragon. We've had incredible luck grading these, so hopefully we can continue that. Surface looks really good. Surface on these cards are really nice. Very nice corner, nice corner. Top edge maybe got some stuff. It looks like it's just a couple things. A little bit of whitening on the top edge. Corner looks pretty good. Corner looks pretty good. Back, very clean, very, very clean. Okay, back left, back right. Okay, a little bit of a whitening right there and right there. That's definitely going to hurt the grade. And then a little bit on the corner. Okay, this one, I think, uh, with that whitening on the edge and the top, the edges are definitely not that great. That's what's really holding this back. I think it's also between an 8 and a 9. With those edges, I feel like it's going to be hard to get a 9. I'm going to go with an 8 on the Beast Skull Dragon. We'll see if we're right about that one. All right, on to the Gate Guardian, the legend himself. Let's see. We have very nice on the surface, really nice card. The corner looks good there. Centering is maybe a little off, which is pretty common with Gate Guardian. Corners look really good. Yeah, definitely a little bit off on the centering. Back does have a scuff right there in the middle. That's not too good. Pretty clean other than that, though. That's definitely going to hold it back. We have those all right this is definitely some scratching that is gonna hold it back a little bit i think with that besides that it looks pretty nice the centering is a little off it has that it's definitely gonna be an eight there's no way it's getting better than that so i'm gonna go with eight positively you know a little bit optimistic on that one but i think maybe we could get the eight then we have a red eyes black dragon the centering is pretty good on this thing for a glossy card which is very difficult the corners look pretty nice 
Corners are nice. Very good. The surface looks very glossy and sheeny, I guess. Sheen has a sheen to it. I don't know if sheeny is a word. Back is pretty nice, but it does have some print lines and some scuffing in the middle, which is really going to hold it back. That's really the main issue with this card. Top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right and bottom left. Very good. So this card, I think besides the scuffing on the back and the print lines, it's pretty good. The centering is still pretty good for a glossy card. Not perfect. They're almost never perfect with these, but I would say best we can really hope for is an eight with all those print lines and all that stuff, but we're going to hope for it. We're going to predict eight on the Red Eyes Black Dragon first edition from LOB. If that happens, we'll be really happy. Next, we have a Yada Garasu, and if you guys check the centering out, if you know anything about LOD, the centering is usually not very good. Check it out. Actually good. Yada is very difficult to find centering, or centered, I should say. Top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Beautiful cards. Surface looks really good. The back is the question. Will it hold us back? Get it? Back hold us back. It's not too bad. I mean, it does have some scratches in the middle. A couple right there, if you can see them. Overall, the shine and the gloss is still pretty much there, though. The corners look really good. I think we have an outside shot at getting the PSA 10. I don't really expect it, but I think it has a chance with that centering. I'm going to guess PSA 9, but if it does come back at 10, I wouldn't be shocked. And the final card of this submission, we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So top left corner, pretty nice. Top right, bottom right bottom left. Very good. The service is pretty good. There is this little dot, which seems to pop up on these faded cards pretty often. There's another one down there. I don't really think that's coming off. I'm not really sure if it would. I'm a little scared to mess with it. The back's pretty nice overall. There's a couple scratches in there. It's not too bad. Top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. This is a first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a really nice card. Really difficult to grade these, especially the faded stuff. The uh, the wavy as well, so it is also wavy, so we'll see how that does. I don't know. I don't think it's going to do that great. I'm going to go with the seven i think that would be a pretty good grade for us i could honestly see them doing something crazy with it because it's faded and because of this uh these surface marks but i'm hoping for a seven now let's hop to the future and see what they got all right, now that you guys have seen the pre-grade, we'll see how correct or <laughs> not so correct i was we have eight cards inside let's try not to spoil anything very nice all right, guys, we have them out of the sleeve so we can see them more clearly, not completely clearly. Let's check out these cards. I'm going to try and save the blue eyes for last. So if we do actually see that, we're going to put it towards the bottom. But we have some pretty nice corners overall. I don't remember everything in the sub as usual. I mean, I submitted two different things. That's pretty scratched up on the case. I don't That's not very nice. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is a solemn judgment. We have the corner looks pretty good. Corner looks pretty good. These metal raiders were pretty clean in this collection. So I'm pretty interested to see what they will grade. Surface looks nice. Yeah, very nice. Let's see the centering. It's pretty good. Good. Centering's pretty good. Back centering is pretty good as well. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, we got the the corners are not completely per. Is there something going on with that corner? No, I don't think so. I think it's just the reflection. So I think that that's the case right there. That scuffing, but I can't really tell. So I don't really know what to expect from this. I don't remember what we pre graded. Let's just see. Please be something good. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Solemn Judgment, Jim Mint 10. Whoa, yeah, that is good. That's definitely good. I Okay, I don't think I predicted a 10, but maybe I did. Uh, I, I know I thought these were all around nines for the Metal Raider stuff, at least. So that's not that surprising. Do I own this card? This might be my first copy, actually. That's actually insane. So we get to add that to the collection. That's amazing. It's always nice to add a card that you've wanted for a long time into the collection. So that's a crazy start. That's an awesome start. And Jim Mint 10 on an old school card is always good. So the top left's good, top right's good the surface is boy this looks good this is probably another metal raiders card i would guess oh b skull dragon and yes this is a good one top left top right bottom right and bottom left incredibly nice card i remember thinking this one had a chance at a 10 i probably picked nine because i you know wanted to be conservative but i do think this had a chance at the psa 10 let's see i mean we've had great luck with b skull before will it continue now let me know in the comments let's go Skull Whispers! Unbelievable! This is crazy. I feel like this might have been one of the upcharges. It's hard to really know because, you know, sometimes their upcharges are a little bit like some, they'll upcharge something that you don't think should be upcharged, but then they won't upcharge something you think should be. So I, I don't know. I don't really know, but I'm already happy with the sub. These were some of the cleanest cards in the collection. So if anything was going to get to 10, it was going to be these cards. Um, Yeah, we take those. That is pretty amazing. That's the fifth Beast Skull I've graded, I think. Or maybe it's the fourth and then I had another one. I don't remember exactly, but it's been a lot. Alrighty. That's crazy. That's insane. That's awesome. Okay, top left corner, top right corner, 
Bottom right, bottom left. Oh, okay. A little bit of a little bit of whitening on this one. Okay, this one, yeah, definitely has some corner whitening. This whoa, that one's actually not very good at all. This one is certainly not getting a 10, I would say. Surface looks great. I mean, maybe it could still get a nine. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's the summon skull. Okay, I didn't realize the summon skull. Actually, I probably did realize it when I was pre-grading it. But surface looks good. So maybe we can hope for a nine on this. I don't think it's gonna get a 10 with those corners unless they're very lenient on the corners this time. Centering's not great. I'd be I'd be surprised if we got a 10 on this. I'd take it. I mean, I'd take it. Let's see if we got the nine. I'm guessing nine. Nine. Okay, yeah. So the corners are really the issue here. The uh the card is really nice. Like the surface looks good, the centering's pretty good. But when you look closely at those corners, like it's not obvious from here that the corners are bad. But if you get really zoomed in there, you see that. I mean, that is not a pretty corner. And that's probably the main reason, this one and this one, that it got a nine. So overall, I'm super happy with that. That's still a solid grade. A nine on a summon skull from Metal Raiders. We'll take that. That's an amazing card. This has been a good return so far. I'm happy with it. Top left looks good. Top right. I mean, we might have started off with the bangers right off the bat. Bottom right and bottom left. Wait, is there something going on here? No, that one looks pretty good. Okay. Surface. Check the surface. Wait, is there a scratch on there? Or is that on the... Hopefully that is on the case. If you guys see that, I think that's on the case. Could be wrong, but I think that's on the case. That's a pretty long scratch I would have missed. Mirror Force. Okay, Mirror Force would be a cool card. I do own this. It's like slightly faded too. It's pretty cool. Okay, corners look good. Very nice. And then surface looks awesome. Yeah, I'd be surprised if that was on the surface because I remember these Metal Raiders being nice. And we'll have the pre-grade. So, you know, unless they scratch it, which I doubt. I mean, it doesn't happen very often. Okay, centering looks good and everything. This looks like a nice candidate. Let's see what it got. Metal Raiders! Oh my gosh! So, so far, Metal Raiders has been incredible to us. Three of the Ultras, PSA 10. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting to do this well, to be honest. So, this is good. This is awesome. I'm getting a little nervous for that LOB Blue Eyes, though. That's the one that I'm really nervous about. All right, let's go to the next card. Oh, that's the Blue Eyes. Okay. Whoa, the servers look good on that Blue Eyes. Okay, all right, we're going to save that. Let's let's save those two for last, and then we'll just go through these two. Okay, top left and top right looks good. Wait, there's a little... There's a little grass on there. Like, the CGC had, like, crazy amount of grass on theirs. Okay, we're, this one seems to have some grass on it, too. Um, let's go. Oh, wait, we didn't check the surface, did we? Let's check the surface. I mean, all these surfaces were nice. Here's the Yada. Oh, my gosh. If this is a 10, this is insane. This would be one I'm definitely keeping if it's a 10. Centering? Okay, look at it. It's not completely perfect, but for Yada, it's crazy good. All right, uh, surface on the front. I mean, whew, this is one I would really want as a 10. Let's see. Oh, an eight. Okay, it must have had a service issue that I missed. Or maybe, I mean, the centering is not completely perfect. Let's see. The centering would not put this to an eight, though, so it must have something else going on with it. That is kind of a bummer, but I mean, at this point, I can't complain. These grades have been really awesome. I don't know. I definitely have to... Okay, a little bit of a whitening there. A little bit of whitening there. Yes, yeah, so the corners are not perfect. Centering is not completely perfect. There's probably something I missed on the surface that made it an eight, but you know what? I don't know what this next one is, actually. Oh, I forgot about this. I, I don't think that this was a 10. I think I had this at an eight or a nine. This one thing was... I believe not perfect. Oh, wait, why are we not checking the back? I can't remember. Okay, those corners actually look pretty crispy. Oh, that's why. That's not very nice. And then bottom left. Okay. Wait, is there scratching on there? What? The, the cases are all scratched up. I know that's not on the surface. The cases is all scratched up. Okay, we check the front. Wait, let's check the front surface real quick. Surface looks pretty nice. Okay, I mean, this is a pretty nice card. How's the centering on it? I can't really tell. It looks like maybe it's a little off. I don't know. Are we hoping for a nine on this? I think that's what we're hoping for. Oh, and it got it. Okay, that's nice. I don't have a nine, actually, in Gate Guardian. I have a six that's faded. I should have gotten better than that, but this is actually my highest grade uh, Gate Guardian, so we'll take that. Metal Raiders treated us super well in the submission. So Metal Raiders is probably the reason that we uh, got some upcharges. I don't know. We'll see. Blue Eyes might be an upcharge with like a lower grade. Who knows? I'm not really sure because the Blue Eyes price can get crazy. Corners look pretty good. Let's check the surface on this Red Eyes. This is We know this is the Red Eyes and it has print lines. I remember that specifically. All right. Centering on the back was awful. Front is actually pretty good. That's the thing with Glossy though. The front is centered. So with Glossy LOB, there's two different versions, Wavy and Glossy. The Glossy, the front is, if it's centered, the back is way off. It's very annoying. So they kind of have to not care about the back as much. So Surface looks pretty good, though. I don't know. A 9 would be insane on this. Probably going to get an 8, though, at best. We do have our 9 BGS that we pulled. Let's see, let's see if we can match that and get a PSA 9. Ooh, and you're meant to mint 8. Okay. Honestly, I think I predicted that. That sounds about right. I mean, we can't really hope for much better than that. Red Eyes Black Dragon from LOB. Not in as good a shape as the Metal Raiders, for sure. And finally, the card we've all been waiting for. The card that I've been waiting for, that's for sure. I mean, this thing does not have a chance at a 10, let's be honest. If it was a 10, honestly, I would have gotten upcharged a lot more than I did. So I, I can almost, I could spoil it a little bit. It's not getting a PSA 10, so don't freak out. We're hoping for a 9. That's what we really want. Probably not going to happen. I mean, even at 8, it's not that bad, so... 
The card looks pretty good. It looks crazy because it's it's got a little fade. It has a little thing on the surface there, which seems to happen with faded cards. And there's a little bit more in the middle there. So I don't really know exactly what the deal with that is. Wavy print. Beautiful blue eyes white dragon. I mean, it's probably I'm gonna honestly I'm feeling like it's gonna get a seven and eight would be great. I'd be happy with that. Let's see. Blue eyes white dragon, first edition from Legend of Blue Eyes. Highest one I've ever graded is a four. So if we beat that, we beat that. Let's go. Let's see what it got. Whoa, I was not expecting that. No way. A PSA 9. Oh my gosh. Holy. This card was super nice for sure. But I thought that these things, like whatever these things are that pop up on faded cards, they're just like little brown dots. I thought that would take off more. I'm surprised that I got a 9 to be honest with those. But like, I guess the card's not centered either. So I was expecting an 8, like honestly. But we're taking this 9. 9 is... <laughs> Nine is an expensive card, so that's a huge one, especially with the lower name and faded. I mean, some people really like that stuff. I think it looks really cool. Wow. A PSA 9 LOB first edition, guys. That might be the last time you see one like this on the channel. I mean, one day, hopefully, we can get that PSA 10, but I doubt it. That's pretty amazing. Talk about an epic submission. Wow, that was awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Truster Cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Daxter Musa Jr., Barney, and Anantai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.